The magic of movie stars, mega movie stars, is something that you can rarely describe in words, but you can always, always experience. I am so privileged to experience this magic of two incredible, phenomenal forces of nature. Now, he is a legacy movie star, a global phenomenon, but at its heart, a bona fide artist, a terrific actor. She puts the act in actor and has wowed critics and audiences across the world and literally with each performance and since she walked the highway of Hindi cinema has won so many hearts. I am privileged to introduce to you Alia Bhatt and Junior NTR in conversation with me. All right. Okay, wow. So we have... So Just one second, we'll give a little backstory because a minute ago, you're like, okay, I don't know how I'm going to start this. I don't know what I'm going to say. And then now you've started. You've given a speech, right? But you don't know I'm a talk show host and this is what I do for a living. I do, but you just didn't know what to say. And no, but it came. does. My thoughts run and then I say things. It's too good. That, that, that's, absolutely that's difficult. It's too yeah. good. Yeah, but listen, I still, don't, amazing. I still don't have the talent that both of you have. <laughs> uh, first, let's, let's just address that we have such deep commonality. Uh, but there's one part that I'm going to ask as a quick question that there's one other aspect that we all have in common that we will that we will chat about later. Firstly, RRR happened. And I still remember the moment when Alia signed that film, how happy I was that she was working with Raja Mali, sir. Like I was like, oh my God, like this is like the biggest moment ever. Then both of you collaborated on that film. Um, I had the privilege of uh, collaborating with you on Devara and presenting the film uh, to the Hindi audience, which is so amazing because... Uh, my journey started with Raja Mali, sir, you know, way back with Bahubali 1. I, of course, introduced Alia to the movies. So there is Raja Mali, sir, and there is Devra. There's Jigra coming up. And then there's me sitting right in the middle of it all. <laughs> uh, I really feel <laughs> like there is, there is such amazement. But there is one other commonality that you have with Alia. Do you know what that is? Well, Do you know what that is? No. He will eternally be the student number one. And you will ah, always be student, student of the year. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, That's we lovely. discussed this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. remember during RIR promotions also we yeah, discussed so, but, this. So I just oh, thought of nice. it. I just thought of it and I was like, wow, there's something else that we have in common. <laughs> we have the student factor in common. Um, Tara, thank you so much for being in conversation My with pleasure, us. Sir. Uh, tell me, uh, what did you feel like when you first met Alia on the sets of RRR? What was that experience? <laughs> well... See, it was the first time I'm actually, you know, this this whole big crossover. Yeah. yeah. It started there. Yeah. And uh, I've I've always uh, admired her work and, and, and I've said it and I'll say it again that she's one of the finest actors we have, hands down. And I was telling her the moment I walked in, I was like, I don't know when I when I saw Jigra's trailer, was it the song? You know, hearing the song, was I tearing up for that? Or was it just looking at Alia's performance? And the first few seconds, she could just take me away from where I am right. into the world of Jigra. And mm -hmm. it's not very, it's, 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 it's not simple. It's not easy, you know, for somebody to just, just take the audience away from, you know, their preliminary source and take them into this beautiful world of acting. Yeah. It's, it's... I don't know. I, I've, I've always said that this, you can never train somebody to act. It just comes. And I think she's one of those phenomenal actors we have. And, 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 and the moment I saw her in, at, at the sets of RRR, so for me it was not Alia Bhatt from the North mm. film industry, but for me it was one of my favorite actors. Mm. I'm looking at and I think we just started off from there and I think we share a wonderful bond today as I mean I and I, 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 I can't imagine any other friend in in Bombay other than Alia. Wow. And of course after Alia came Ranbir. Yeah. yeah. So it was not Ranbir and me were friends. It was me and Alia yeah. first yeah. and then Ranbir followed. Yeah. So yeah, so it's it's it's, it's, no, it's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. And uh, Alia, I know that you must have heard so much about yeah. the the mega movie stardom of Junior NTR. Yeah. You know, before you went on that set. And I remember that that, you know, when you went on, I we were like, when before when she was going to shoot for RR, it was like, you know, she's going, like, <laughs> yeah. we have to give her a, a send-off. <laughs> she's going into this amazing magical world of SS Raja Molly. Yeah. And I was like, so what was your takeaway when you finally faced the camera? Because before I say, I've heard all about him and how he op <coughs> operates on set. So Ayan Mukherjee is directing, who has, I must say, has the privilege of directing 
watching him in yeah. war 2 has said he is like speedy gonzalez he comes and makes it all happen Absolutely. he's saying he just does it and it's all done and he's brilliant and it's done it's over <laughs> and you know and uh, ayan is a ponderer he's a he thinker is. he's oh, a yeah. you know he he just sits and everything he's a lot of thought so for him you're the opposite of his energy uh, what did what was your experience when you performed with him in rrr so i think even before i was i had signed on to do um, rrr when the announcement of rrr came it was um, just the image of um, Rajamoli sir, um, Tarak and Ram Charan together. I think that was like a, every, there was an anticipation in general um, for everybody. Little did I know that I would be walking onto that set one day. And of course, like you rightfully mentioned, I'd heard so much, you know, about the way Tarak is, his stardom. So I was naturally expecting to be severely intimidated. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to walk on set and I'm going to forget all my lines that I've been rehearsing for for one year. Yeah. And I started off, we started my first day on shoot was that big scene where we meet for the first time and you know, yeah. where our characters don't know who each other are and it was, um, so it was quite like the big scene to start with. Uh, but it was pretty intense. It was pretty intense. Um, but contrary to what I had imagined, he was not intimidating at all. In fact, he was really helpful, very quiet. So I was quiet. In fact, I was so shocked of how quiet that set was. Yeah. I'm Kenju Kankaran, the shot started, cut. It was spin drop silence and I was like, why isn't anybody screaming and shouting? Like, what's going on? Um, no, but it was wonderful. And, and and ever since that, like, we had, we shot that scene for over a couple of days. Um, and then through the days, we came, became more and more friendly, chatting off and yeah. off camera, talking about the process. I was, of course, very nervous, but Tarak made me very comfortable. And whenever I was even a little bit fumbling or not sure, he would just naturally correct me. And of course, when Ayan saying he's speedy Gonzalez means like the energy is buzzing but what I love about him as an actor is that he is so unpredictable like even though I couldn't understand the language when I see it in his eyes what he's saying is is it's it's all happening from here and like you know uh, Rajamali so would give him a beat and give him some you know um, you know direction or something like that he would like yeah 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 and then you can see it's bursting out of him to give what the director has asked for. Yeah. So I would always like in my close-ups, like in his close-ups and my OTS, I was only observing what he was doing and what was going to come after that because it's such a big learning experience for me as well. And you then know, really we got very friendly and we've had like some great some chats. Great chats. Yeah. And we had such I a remember, good time during the promotion. Remember we all and stepped out for dinner in Bombay. It felt so warm and wonderful that we had like a, a, a Devra, Brahmastra, war kind of a coming <laughs> exactly. together. And it was like we all had dinner at this restaurant that was seating only 12 and we were 12 of us. And it just felt like everyone knew each other from way back. Uh, and no, I'm going to tell you one story huh. because this also happened, you know, since we're here because this is Devra ka jigra, jigra Devra yeah. into Jigra. This yeah. is some sort of crossover no. love that we're sharing yeah, with I really want to know who's, I mean, like who announced the title first, Jigra or Devra? Devra. I think Devra. it was Devra. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, then came in Jigra. Then, then came, came in Jigra. Jigra. I think we, yeah, yeah I think uh, we, we put on the unit, Devra already had it. But that's actually a nice coincidence, sir. When you have an R and R. Devra and Jigra sounds like yeah, each other and each then other, we were also yeah, coming yeah. in the same window. <laughs> nah, you who would have imagined. Exactly. But I'm saying this love started with Tarak very graciously coming to the Brahmastra, you know, sort of press meet. Yes. In um, um, uh, Hyderabad, Hyderabad. And there was, um, I remember I was fully pregnant at that time and yeah. Tarak was like, yeah, yeah, we'll do the event. But then after that, you all have to come to my house for dinner. Yeah. And we had such a warm evening at that, at, at, on that terrace. Yeah. I remember eating dinner and like chatting. And that was the first time that we actually discussed possible baby names <laughs> yeah. in front of everybody. Oh, I remember. Wow. Then Bita and I were like, if it's a girl, it'll be this. If it's a boy, it'll be this. And we were all like, you know, raising our glass to like, to so was the Ra health. Raha yeah. the name discussed that night? We discussed, yes, we Raha. had names picked yeah. out. And yeah. I started praying, I wish it. I wish it was Raha. I yeah, wish it was like, Raha. I wish it was Raha. And finally, yeah. what a finally beautiful there she is. name. What a beautiful <laughs> name. You know what I find absolutely intriguing about you know movie stars, uh, specifically you know in the brand of cinema that you have done and across across decades now, um, is that there is a kind of fine line between always projecting movie stardom and yet giving that performance. And I think you've done that effortlessly, always, that you've not only considered one of the biggest movie stars, but also an absolutely terrific actor. Now, do you have to kind of straddle that at times that you know that you are also an artist, you're giving your all, your heart, your emotion to that scene, but there is a certain perception of how you have to be a larger than life persona that has to always penetrate through celluloid. Is there always like that tussle within you or is just in your DNA to just be 
be the way you are and then it comes out all effortlessly i think it's i think it's very natural sir, yeah. for any actor you know the moment you see the moment you start calculating you know your image versus your want yeah i don't think they can ever gel together yeah. because i've 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 seen this multiple times in 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 my career so i've said this many a times that there was this point where this whole image this whole want of fans and what they want it was it was it was pretty strenuous for yeah. me as an actor and then i, I just can imagine yeah i just couldn't i just couldn't straight i mean like think straight so that's when you know abhay happened my my first yeah child and 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 something about that experience of being a father has made me become naive all over again mm. and i think for an actor what's most important what's the most important thing is that how do you become naive how do you disown or unknow things mm. because at that moment when you have to perform i really think that you don't need to experience it yeah right you haven't ever experienced it but how do you deliver it mm. for that i think there needs to be a lot of naiveness in an actor mm. and that comes only when you like just take things off your brain yeah and for me when i was like of course i was a i was struggling for abhay to you know look at me and 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 call me you know papa or call me nana so yeah. i was i was i wanted him to do that so that urge in me somewhere just took this whole ntr ka image away from me and i said wow you know this 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 whole thing is just gone from my head so i said what if i start try to incorporate it into my movies right so that's when my journey started as an actor as an artist it's like kya you know just just for me it gets very boring for some you know if i have to just give this a reaction which of it's 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 just it's just useless it's meaningless so i started putting my foot down and you know started communicating saying that no i i really don't think this will work then you know we started discussing and then the discussion started happening so i opened up as an artist right that made it easier for me to understand myself more as an actor as an actor so every time i felt that yaar ghar se nikal raha hu main to mujhe kuch excitement factor chahiye hmm. kyunki already two exciting factors hai abhay and bhargav hmm. inse bada exciting factor kya ho sakta hai to wo hai mere movies hmm. agar wo excitement nahi mil raha hai to ghar mein baithunga main i'll <laughs> sit at home i don't yeah. need to work always very well ali taking um, from where uh, tarak just mentioned about you know how things moved in his head after the birth of abhay has uh, the birth of raha and you being a mother you know which is i can't even imagine the experience i mean what like anybody goes through because having that 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 energy that maternal energy do you think uh, yourself and have you thought about this has that somewhere impacted <coughs> you as an artist when you're facing the camera today oh yeah from when pre raha most definitely and uh, most definitely Uh, and i'm not just saying this because i'm promoting jigra genuinely swear with all my heart when i signed jigra i think i was in my tigress mode i was in my most protective yeah like no one come near her mode I that was about to say that yeah, no one that, saw that trailer it was that was the energy and it was like that's why i, I always say destiny luck life has so much to play in things going a certain way for you like forget the fate of jigra the fact that it came to me also i was like wow what is the timing of this that i'm yeah. feeling this way and it came and it had all of those things laced over it so for sure i don't think i'm the same person i don't want to be the same the person, same person yeah. uh life is just has so much more meaning and i feel like actors can get really self obsessed if they're always constantly thinking about themselves now when there's another being in your life suddenly it's like oh alia who raha 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 yeah. alia is fine comes in in and out but the focus is is on her and yeah that feeling of nurturing and feeling of my mind always being there is something that will never change now <laughs> and also the other the other thing is the pressure uh, like you know he said that he you know he abandoned that pressure because it yeah. became about like if he's feeling the excitement he's going to get onto that set you know you're always touted as like this best actor of our times in hindi cinema you know a lot of it is is written a lot of it is expressed a lot of it sometimes is a burden to carry um is it really is it when you go and face the camera do you come with that baggage or are you able to share it off 
no i don't think i come with that baggage i think definitely when the film is up for release you get a bit of pressure you yeah. get a bit of feeling cuz tab sab kuch line pe aa jata hai but that's more as a movie star and not as an artist no yeah. then it's more like no report card aa jayega you know yeah. Um, yeah. but on set and going to set is all about the act like the acting process being directed by a director collaborating with the team and i just feel very grateful to be in that moment every day Yeah. you know i love that process of collaborating especially when you know especially with vasan i had had a blast he's such a wonderful human being yeah um so i think about that but we spoke about vasan and i'm going to get back to him but i want to speak about your collaboration your second collaboration with uh, uh, shiva with shiva janata garaj was a massive massive hit it was touted as one of your best performances performances and then now you're back with devara and i've had of course we've all seen the trailer and it's magnificent you actually and saw more than the trailers i've seen you more than the trailer but i'm trying not to reveal any any spoilers <laughs> about anything here because i was okay so now you've said it i'm not saying it. so i so i um, went to hyderabad anil and me uh, you know we went apurva anil and i went uh, to hyderabad we saw about 30 to 45 minutes of the material and i was like like blown, blown away because it's a totally different world like he's taken us into and i won't say anything for people who haven't seen any material but like i just want to say it, that world is new it's totally new where there are elements that are so impactful when yeah. you see it and we'll take a beat and talk about how brilliant saif is as well mm. but like but when i saw it and every time he faces uh, the camera as um, you know as the character as devara um and there is a certain kind of like magic that just happens but is that largely um you know and i felt like i've seen all your work and i felt like but with with shiva uh, there is something special that's something that he taps into you that comes right out like and i've seen that in janata garaj and i saw that again in devra what is your experience working with him so we've been friends for quite a long time we've been friends for like i think about 18 17 years So our journey started with a movie called Brindavanam. Shiva was predominantly the writer for many super hit movies in uh, Telugu, yeah. in Telugu cinema. So we started as friends because he was the writer for Brindavanam, and that's when I understood there's so much potential in him to become a director. Mm. Mm. And then one fine day he started off with this movie called Mirchi yes. with Prabhas, which was a super duper hit. Yes. and then he went to do sri mantru which was a super duper hit then he went then he did jantagraj super hit then he did bharatan nenu super hit but what's so common in all the four movies he's done is that this guy carries a kind of a responsibility towards the society you know he wants to probably give something back to the society with his movies so there is this underlying message and sometimes it's and he's not too preachy mm. you know when you want to give a message a message oriented movie as as we call it it tends to become very preachy Correct. but he's formed he's just found this art of making this preachy movie into a very commercially viable exciting i mean like product i mean like it's it's that's his trait so when we collaborated for devra i just see in 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 commercial mainstream film you always have the protagonist the hero as we call him comes out for the downtrodden mm. correct people who do not have courage gives them that courage and takes them forward but this is such a flip where the protagonist comes from not the downtrodden but mm. comes from the most powerful yeah and says yaar yeah, bhai zyada courage bhi theek nahi hai mm. thoda sa fear rehna chahiye humko fear is good you need to have that see responsibility comes from fear yes mm. So I just love the way he brought this idea that you know, see, I, everybody should have a certain amount of fear. Mm. Is I believe in it. If you have more courage, courage is going to happen, sir. So there is no stopping humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, humans. We are humans. We are unstoppable. We need to have that kind of responsibility within us. Yeah. I just love the way he brought about this this message, mm. but with so much padded with with with. a fictitious a uh, over the top world and that excited me and i felt that you know this is a movie i would like to do after rrr yes hmm you know because after rrr you know you need to have that kind of an excitement correct you know at a plot <laughs> level it needs to excite you and 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 that's how we started off with devra and i don't know we never thought that we're going to make this movie into two parts 
I said Shiva don't stop just keep writing because there's so many characters you've mentioned about yes. self yeah I mean the self sir's character is probably I don't know I I really got so excited seeing him when I was watching the whole movie I just remember the immediately when I saw the movie when I saw his performance I went back to Omkara Yes exactly that's what I thought when I saw yeah. it it gives went, you that Omkara vibe He, he gives you that Omkara vibe and yeah. he was outstanding in that movie and I don't remember when I actually saw him that fabulous and he's and 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 there's so many characters which which we just couldn't stop from developing yeah so what develop hote gaya hote gaya sir and Have then you already one, shot part 2 uh well a a a a large a bit a bit, okay. a bit so we went on we went on we went on and finally we shot and all of a sudden we get an alert from from the editor our editor Srikant Prasad he tells us that you know what by the time you finished your first half we yeah. still haven't finished the first half <laughs> You've already got a length of five hours. I was like, what? What? Five <laughs> hours? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Because we just didn't realize. We we just fell in love with that movie. Yeah. And then we, I'm like, no, you know, we need to we need to check ourselves. Stop it. Let's write our story. Let's finish our story. Let's see where, what, how, where we can, you know, cut, chuck, or redevelop. Let's see. And that's when I think we. It was a very conscious decision. Are you producer We, on the film too? Oh well, NTRH. That's my brother's company. Kalyan Ram is mm -hmm. my brother. So his family, as yeah, is, as family, is yes. like now her sister producing. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, I'm curious, like whether you were sitting in on the edit process and all through it. Yes, through yes. We wow. we as a team were in it. And no, I could tell when there. when I was there, he was so passionately describing no, everything. No, no, like course. you know, like the, I could tell that he's been part of every beat yeah. of the era. Like it's now in his. He's Zahed. like his puri tarah bas chuka hai. Like, you know, got there. <laughs> yes, yes. No, but th that director and actor collaboration is the most important association for the success of any feature any, film, any, any motion film. movie. It is really about how you True. can collaborate with the director. So back to Vasan, um, great energy, great guy, such a good person. Like when I met him, I just fell in love with him. I was on the sets with Vasan Bala um, of a film that I've acted in called Bombay Velvet, uh, which stars your husband and I was the antagonist of all things. Uh, we won't get into any of that, but that's the first time I met Vasan and just loved, loved everything that he's done right after that. And I just knew that the moment Alia would hear this film, she would she would sign this film. This is the film I knew she would do. And she is, of course, very discerning with her choices. But this is the one film I knew that, you know, you would just bite into. Uh, Vasan Bala, what is your, what is what we don't know about him and you? I think that we are very in sync. Yeah. Uh, and it started very much from the first, um, before we even started filming. I remember I was in New York and we were putting out the announcement of the film. And I was like, hey, do you want to do like an anime something? Mm. You know, like something to do with this like anime kind of vibe just to put a really cool visual. I don't know why I said that. And then he just sent me the work in progress unit since we were already on it. <laughs> oh, wow. That was just the beginning. After that, lots of things where it just happened where before the shot, only I'm like, Vasan, I'm thinking body language. And he said, Haan, wahi hai, wahi hai. he knew what I was going to say, mm. wow. what I was going to do before I was going to do it. So I think that we're very much in sync. Um, that I have a lot of um, uh, respect for his process, but also a lot of fondness for his mind. And I say, use the word fondness is because I feel it's... it's um, it's so open to different avenues. It's never, um, it's it's never sort of closed in. He's so open, but at the same time, his instinct is so strong. So it's yeah. not like if I come with every idea, he's taking every idea. He's like, no, she'll do this, but she won't do this. So the process was just, it was very exciting. It was never just a one note day. It yeah. went through so many different notes. And even now, uh, going through the edit and the post and all of that, of course, he's doing all the heavy lifting. We are sitting and basically just kind of coming and giving thoughts and opinions yeah, whenever we have yeah. to do it. But I've always believed that this is a director's medium. It's a filmmaker's medium. And if the filmmaker is not has not given their heart, soul, everything, and if that voice is not communicating, then something always goes off with the film. Yeah. Yeah. And I really feel like this, even the teaser was cut by Vasan. The yeah. teaser trailer was cut by Vasan because I'm like, Vasan, nobody else would be able to communicate yeah, yeah. what you have in your mind. So yeah, I, 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 like, I can go on and on talking about him. I no, really have a lot of love for this Incredible. Guy. And I think yeah. we have two incredible filmmakers. And I also know. have to credit his, his wife, Prerna. Yes, Prerna. Who's also, She's the also the editor, editor on the, the film. film. Wow. So their combination is also just magical. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
together. And I always wonder how that happens because yeah. you know, like a husband wife in an edit room. Like I, I mean, if I was editing a film, even with a friend, I might have murdered that person. <laughs> that, <laughs> but you because tell me, sir, who 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 takes over? Does 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 a director take over the editor, or the editor takes over the director? Because I'm a firm can believer I, can I, I, of I, I, something yeah. that. Films are definitely yes, they are written, but they're made, but on, they're the made on the edit table. Agreed. See, but who takes over? See, I, according to me, and I have a very strong belief in this, and I don't know if the other filmmakers will agree with me. But see, an editor is many things. An editor is the final stop, okay? Because all takes come to the editor. Everything, every shot comes to the editor. They are the final decision maker, so their instinct has to be bang on. They also have to be screenplay writers. Mm -hmm. They yeah, have to be true. narrative structurers. They have to be everything. I believe a director should not be in an edit room. I believe very strongly. So that, of course, very different from Basan's experience or many other filmmakers. Who but he was working. not in the edit apparently yeah. until. So I don't know exactly how how yeah. he went about it. I don't sit in the edit room. I, right. I said show me because I'm too attached to every shot. I'm attached to each moment. I will remember a take very differently. Yeah. We take twenty takes sometimes, but. How many times is the twentieth take used? I know. <laughs> you know how many times? Like I know in my experience of like now twenty five years of twenty six years of directing movies, I think rarely has the last take been used. It's always the because the actor's instinct is yes. so strong. Whatever comes comes in the beginning. Then you start indulging start, yourself. Becoming so I believe most directors who get stuck in that edit room will always be just stuck, and that film will always have issues because there will be there. So I think the editor should take over. So like it should be, and therefore so the editor. So has you to believe have that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. a good combination. Then the wife's taking over. The husband, good. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, yeah, of course. And yeah, more power so to her if she takes over. <laughs> like she all power to her. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And and that process is like I can't believe that directors are sitting on every take, every shot. I'm like, dude, you were on that set. But that again, that's that love. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think every film. Every know, process this, is different. Yeah, लड़की को जब विधा कर रहे हो ना सर, वो जो feeling, but feeling आता है ना एक बाप को. Just like as parents, I say that there will come a time where you have to let. You have to. So, just as your film is your baby, you at one point now it's gone to someone else's hands. It'll come back to you. Come only. back to you. Yeah. But at that point of time, you need to let go and understand that. Now, preparation. Contrary to what happens a lot in Hindi cinema, <laughs> uh, I know that you are and many other actors, you know, who are mega stars in Telugu cinema, also don't entirely believe in prep in this word prep. They don't understand that what are you doing for one month? Like, you know, <laughs> what about the magic of the moment? Isn't that gone? I'm sure you're a believer of that. Am yes, I right? Yes. Yes. True. True. Yeah. True. See, as I said, too too much of prep again yeah. does not give you the 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 chance or the avenues to explore yourself. You become so rigid. So I say the less we prep, I mean, like I don't know. See, South India, especially South Indian films, have all, always been very. Chaotically organized. Yeah, <laughs> nice. yeah that's a very I mean, nice way to put it. I mean, yeah. like, see, if there's no chaos, we are not organized. Yeah. So we still have that thing that ki yar kal prince jana hai. The director, the whole team is still sitting that ek ek or aar dije na aur thoda sa edit Correct. me thoda sa correction karna hai. So yeah. it's that the clock is ticking. The prince have to be delivered. Yes. And the content has to be delivered, but you're still doing something with your movie. You are shooting for a crazy sequence tomorrow. And everybody is so chill. We are not prepping at all. We know what needs to be done. I think it's that chaos which brings a big, I mean, like great amount of organization. And somewhere, I think that makes us more instinctive, also, sir. As artists. As yeah. as as artists. And I I believe in spot development also. No matter kitna bhi aap you've you've researched, you've written so much, but when you're there, you know, as a director. When your actor is giving something beyond what you've written, are you going to take it or not? Because yeah. this was the experience I had with Hindi cinema also. Because when I was, you know, shooting for War, Ayan did not know what's going to come because he was trying to bring it out for me. कि ये कैसे आने वाला है? I was like, Ayan, I'm very instinctive. आ जाएगा. आ जाएगा वो. कुछ ना कुछ आ जाएगा. Ayan was like. कुछ ना कुछ हाँ 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 कुछ ना कुछ आ जाएगा he's not used to this कुछ ना कुछ he loves prep he loves prep and I am completely the opposite yeah and then Adisha was there in between he was like हाँ it's okay it's okay I get it I get it because he also comes from the same school that I I come from his school because he's my mentor and 
I don't know when I last prepped with any. I didn't prep with them for student of the year. <laughs> like we went and we did some workshop. No, we did little workshop. Very little. Yeah, yeah. we but sat and spoke about like each other's <laughs> personal lives. That, that was probably days. because there was nothing. I mean, I mean, we've done Rocky, Rocky or Rani. What prep I did? No, we did nothing. I don't believe in that. But I know that there are filmmakers, specifically when very ambitious tentpole films. Um, you have to kind of put in some kind of work or you feel the need to and I haven't made that big action spectacle where you know you have to prep that much. I've made human emotional love stories which I feel yeah. have to be instinctive. But Alia, are you a firm believer of going with that preparation or are you also much like Tarak, like live in the moment? No, so I think it it's really uh, um, varies because I feel like there's some films perhaps require if you're learning a particular dialect, if you're yeah, learning yeah. maybe a dance form, yeah, and all, that kind of prep is necessary for the character. But if you ask me my preferred route, I always prefer to do, like in a film like Jigra, I didn't have any prep. In fact, even Vasan prefers to not prep yeah. uh, because yeah. there's no need. It's kind of straight, a straight arrow and you have to come and feel it and kind of understand the gist of the vibe. And like he gave me one brief, just perform the whole film like she has 99.9 .9 temperature. Oh wow. Yeah. What a way, great way of describing. 99.9 .9 temperature. So that was one thing. Um and in fact I'm also like Mashada, I don't even like to do rehearsals. Yeah. Very often I'm like okay, because I'll give it. Then either you tell me like not to do yeah, it, yeah. and then I won't give it. I can't bear rehearsals. I can't. I'm like, I can't. I mean, I just feel like in a digital era, just roll, yeah. <laughs> like, what rehearsal? Like, you know, yeah. you're not losing magazine, you're not losing film. You just, it's digital. Like, just roll. What yeah. is the problem? Yeah, my thing is take, 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 just roll it, yeah, roll yeah. it. Khatam karo. But again, uh, my other side of my brain tells me is that if I just adapt to each director's process, then my process will also change with every film. So I'm Probably, open yeah. to doing that. If the director wants me to prep hard, I'll go for it. If the director says no, I say cool. Yeah. My preferred route is obviously. Less is more. Jigra uh, is an emotional prison escape uh, uh, drama. You know, how else would, would should I describe it? It's emotional, it's a brother-sister bond, it's a prison emotional escape. Emotional thriller drama. Emotional thriller drama. Yeah. How would you describe Devra? I mean, apart from the fact that it's crazy no, but in it's, the most amazing way. Sir, for me, my I, I, I love drama. Yeah. I, I just, I mean, who, who doesn't? Yeah. So Devra is... A humongous, I would say, dramatic experience. Hmm. Nice. And cinematically dramatic. Cinematically dramatic, dramatic experience. Cinematically gigantic, gigantic, gigantic dramatic. Dramatic. dramatic experience. And ultimately, sir, what Devra is, there's so much, there's, there's this vast canvas yeah. it has. But the, the root emotion of Devra is just about a father and son. Yes. It's that emotion which it boils down to and that is the biggest drama. And that is exactly what Jigra is. It's at heart, it's a brother-sister film. It's beautiful. The so, so yeah, this is so a father-son. It's a father-son and, and that's a brother-sister. Brother yeah. <laughs> it is exactly that. It is exactly <laughs> that in abundance. Both of you have worked with new energies in these in these uh, these very special movies that we're talking about, Devra and Jigra. You worked with Janvi Kapoor and Seth, and you worked with Vedang right now. And I just felt your grandfather and Sri Devi have done so many yes, blockbusters. Yes, and I said, her first film has to be with you. I just <laughs> felt like it has to be, that legacy has to go on. And how was that experience? Because Janvi also... You tell me, also, sir. You've seen, oh, you've seen more than just the trailer. <laughs> so you tell me how... Listen, I can tell you one thing about Janvi. Having known her ever since, like for very many years. This is what she's been dying to do from day one. And I she's been dying that. to do that tadakta bhadakta gana. I can see herself. that when she came to the location, sir. And she was, she was hungry. Yeah. yeah. She was hungry and I think she still is. She was hungry for, to, to, to give her best. There was so much of nervousness. There was a lot of unpredictability in her. She didn't understand. She, there was this fear of dancing. There was the fear of acting, the fear of adjusting, the fear of lines. Yeah. There was so much happening within that girl. And, and, and the first shot, she came and she gave. She mm. just killed it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with so much pressure, it was a delight seeing her open up on, on, on camera. Yeah. The lines were so seamless. I mean, she was, yeah. she said her dialogues in Telugu. Yes. Though she didn't dub for the movie in Telugu. Yeah. yeah. And Shiva was sitting somewhere. He was looking at the monitor. And I was actually, it was my OS and her, her close up. And so 
So she started off. It was like a one and a half page scene between us. It was a yeah. small scene, but she had a lot of dialogues. She started off. So I gave her the cue. She gave me back the cue, and I gave her the cue, and we've just finished the whole. She yeah. just she just said the whole lines of the the one and a half pages dialogue in the OS. Yeah. And Shiva was like, "Okay, what the hell just happened?" <laughs> And Shiva was like, okay, one second, let me check. So I turned around <laughs> and I just yelled at Shiva saying, there's no check, it's okay, bhai. Yeah, yeah. Okay, karlo aap. She's given a fabulous performance. Shiva was actually shocked. He was not believing that Do she actually spoke, performed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is this side of her, which I think has not been captured. And with this, with this platform, I think people will see a very different Janvi. And yes, have to agree that she definitely looks like her mother. Yes. In, 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 in many... Angles and to match step with you, <sighs> I mean, is That's not right. easy. Oh. Yeah, and she's actually, she <laughs> was giving it, but she, she was giving it. And, and she came back after her. Uh, yes, she was unwell. She was in hospital. She was in hospital. She was hospital for a week, um, and she had to do this song. And then she comes that. back and does oh, this after that the cover yeah, yeah, yeah. the Dawoodi Fully. song. Dawoodi, yeah, the correct. Dawoodi. She's super. You, she's I mean, the Yuta outstanding only. But even I was like, why? I was like, yeah, she's really enjoying it. She's really, really, really enjoyed it. And you worked with Vedang. Now, Vedang had done just one feature film, Archie's. You have not known him, never met him, you've not interacted with him. No. And now you're playing this protective sister, yeah. you know, where you have to really, really give all your heart, emotion, everything to that energy. Uh, what was that like? Because firstly, he had to get over his awe, because of course he was acting with you and he was like really stressed, you know, for various reasons. Because there is a, you know, kind of an image you have of an artist of this caliber. Uh, I'm sure you must have made it very easy for him right from the beginning. I'm a kind soul. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, it was honestly actually again because we didn't have much time we had to get into it, sort of take the bull by its horns immediately and we had many things to do on day one. We literally had multiple scenes. Um, Nidang is fabulous. He's, um, he's amazing. Like I don't think he knows how amazing he is. And he's, he, uh, number one I told him when we did a very important scene and he was crying. I said, one good thing is you cry very prettily and that's a good yeah, thing yeah, <laughs> for yeah. a Hindi film hero. Yeah, <laughs> you he do does. good when you cry. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but he's he's so hardworking. He's also very instinctive, but he also has some sort of prep. He reminded me a lot of Ranbir Singh and I told him this as mm. well. Just the way he is also and also his dedication and everything. That's a huge compliment yes. because his dedication and the focus to the moment um, and the shot. But of course, he is his own person. Um, he sings so beautifully. Mm -hmm. So, also Vasan and I would discuss this all the time. Is he's actually an old soul? I mean, I would think I am some old soul and all that, but actually, quite to quite the contrary, Vedang, who is younger than me, is really he's like he's he's sixty. His yeah. soul is very sort of deep rooted and sort of centered, and he's got a lot of depth within him, which I think will really take him very far when when it comes to all the scenes of drama and stuff. So you had fun, basically. I had a great time. And he sings like a dream. So Phulo Ka Taroka and the title song of Jigra has been sung by Vedang himself. What? Oh my god. Yeah, he's been sung himself. Like this is and his voice, he's not he doesn't need that auto tune. He just sings. He's wow. like he's just yeah. you know, this with is his one heart. expression he gave in the with what little you've yeah. shown us in in the trailer teaser. Yeah. So there was his expression. I think he's being beaten up in yeah, the yeah. jail. Yeah. And oh I was god, like, that's his so best that's moment. actually it's, it's really tough. It's very really hard. Ask me about it because RRR when I was being flogged, yes. I understand how tough it you is to that. actually give an expression to... Where you're going through pain. It's, it's too hard. It's tough. And yeah. I just saw that and I was like, wow. You know, and you know, actually when you see that moment, that particular moment where he's being, and we can't say where and how that I happens, <laughs> but like when he's being hit, like there is, you will, it's his best moment according Beautiful. to the film. Like it's Love. his best moment and it was shot much later, but it was like, you can feel his pain, like mm. it's coming, it's piercing through. No, you know? actually no day has been an easy day for him. So whenever like he was shooting his things and we would meet after a couple of days and I was like, he said, honestly, it's been really tough because like he really has given a lot to the film, like yeah. a lot. And when I saw the film for the first time, I just called to tell him that is that, listen, I'm so grateful that, you know, that I got to work with you as an artist and see the amount that you give. Like, I feel like that will really amount to something, some energy between the two of us. Like, I feel very, um, like, I feel very, I don't know, like, it's very, like, sort of blissful moment mm. to see an actor really give. Like, there's yeah. something very innocent and pure about it. Uh, without making it sound too pseudo-intellectual or anything. It's just about giving, like, yeah. when you give your heart. True. So, yeah. So, he, we talked about his singing. 
I, we know that you have uh, done your, of course, it wasn't dubbed by you, but your lines in Telugu as well in RRR. Yeah. Now, I think that you could sing us a little tiny bit from, from, oh, from by the way, I want to, I want to ask you this. Oh, you know, she dubbed for RRR. She dubbed. In I Telugu. Yeah. No. No, she didn't. No. No. I dubbed, but it didn't get taken. But, yeah, but, <laughs> it but didn't make it. I would yeah. say, let's, let's make Alia dub for Jigra, for Telugu. Oh, yeah, no, we should. We are should. you releasing Jigra in Telugu? We want to. You should. And let her dub for it. Let her, let her do it. Let her try. But do you think, not not that she should dub, but maybe should the film be dubbed? Yes. You've seen it. That's what I want to ask I you. Think, I think emotion works in all languages. Sir. Yeah. Emotion, drama, and because we did seeing get, what we I got, seeing like, you know, what I, had, I saw yesterday. I mean, like when the trailer yeah. released, I think I think you should, you should, because you should not R stop Rana from, called me and said the same thing. Yes, you, you should. He called me. You should. And I hope you're dubbing the film in Telugu. And yes, and, and, a lot of them, everybody love her. Yeah. And I think you should let her explode into, into the South also. Biting my nails. I think you should. Biting her nails <laughs> in stress. <laughs> so don't, so let's digress and distract and sing. I think ah. you should. Yeah, I think you should sing. I you think should, you should. Uh, Chuttamali? Ah. Chuttamali. Okay. Chuttamali is, is a blockbuster song from Devra. And uh, I know that you, you've been singing it a little bit. I've been hearing you humming it. That's why. <laughs> Are you rehearsing earlier? Trying to get the words right. Tuntari. Tuntari. Ah. Chuttamale chutte stande. Ha chutte stande. Chuttamale chutte stande. Ho ararare. Chuttamale chutte stande. Tuntari chuppu. Urike unnadu kase pu. Wow. <laughs> I told you she should dub. <laughs> if you I let her done dub. anything wrong, I'm sorry. I literally just learned the song <laughs> you yesterday. Were <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but I've been right. listening to this song on repeat. But it's a great no, but, song. But it's still tough to like get the pronunciations right and she was spot on. We have both. Jack. We have well Please done, clap. Alia. Clap, 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 clap. Well done. This is quite a singing brother sister duo. I have to say. Dono ga sakte hain, bhai ben. Which is fantastic. All right. Yes. We have Devra releasing at a theater near you on the 27th, 27th. of September. We have Jigra releasing at a theater near you on the 11th of, 11th October. of October. Two films, two weeks apart. I'm so happy to be producing uh, Jigra, to be presenting for Hindi Devra. And I just want to end this by asking you, I know that there is massive expectation. Look at the <coughs> buzz online. You have the highest pre-sales in North America already. The buzz is just going crazy. The advance is opened a month before to like shattering records. Obviously, that's a huge indication of the opening. We all know that. But what is that one thing that you think an audience doesn't know they're going to get? From oh, Deva? nice. Good question. Oh, there. You know the story, obviously. Yes. Oh, I know. I oh, know. yeah, you know. And I was like, yes, we were talking about it when we were watching the trailer and he started saying things loud. I said, shh, then you're giving away. You're giving away. And one person should not know because yeah. there are some parts. So, there are some parts knows. of the movie which are better hidden yeah. because it's it's the experience you need to go through when you watch Tevra. And I, I really, really, really want, I'm vouching for my, the last 40 minutes especially. Yes. yes. And I'm vouching for that last 10 minutes of Tevra. Yes. The, the emotional ride the audiences are going to. I can't hold it. I'm just waiting when I for that. heard the narration. Jeez. It's that last Oh yeah. Not even 10, the last know, five the last minutes. Five minutes. Oh. And I'm like, oh, I went like that. Like, you know, like, I was like, what? <laughs> like, it literally, it goes like that. And like, I can't wait for the audience to experience I really that. want them to experience Yeah, that. yeah, that's going to be magical. I ask you the same. Too much suspense and intrigue <laughs> and all, ah. Huh? Huh. So exciting. I ask you the same. Oh, what, what is the one thing that you think an audience is not expecting or from whatever they may have seen in our communication so far? Oh. Um, I know that they've seen the emotion. Yeah, I think I was going to say the emotion. But that they've seen. They've seen. What I, can action. I tell you, can I complete that for you? I think it, um, the audacity. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah. exactly. It's an audacious film. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait for these two releases. I'm so grateful that we were able to do this collab. Yeah. It was so this, nice. This, this, it was this, fun. This literally, like you worded, this literally, this yes. beautiful <laughs> crossover <laughs> beautiful between crossover. Devra and Jigra yeah. and... Uh, we can't wait for you to see Devra and we can't wait for you to see Jigra. Because I've I'm had here. the privilege of seeing both. We will probably 
celebrate Jigra's release yes. with Devra's super success. Yes. Oh, and then see. we'll continue that success with Jigra's. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. let it be a so, full so month, one month celebration. We are partying in October. Yes, we are. We are. We are. Right. All, all, all throughout October, we are partying. Right. Two, two, two. Yeah. Fingers two, two, crossed. Mo me ghi shakkar. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, thank so you much, Alia. Thank, thank you for you. being in conversation. You, for everyone watching this, Devra and Jigra both are releasing very, very soon. Devra releases at a theatre near you on the 27th of September worldwide. Jigra releases at a theatre near you 11th October worldwide. Thank you for watching.